Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, amen and amen. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a word on time, time to tell the truth in boldness, straightforward. We need not be a genius to look around us at the world today and see that the world is in trouble. That it has sunk to new lows in immorality, in hatred and violence, in disobedience, in every form of wickedness imaginable. Sin abounds, sin abounds. And there is no solution man has to it. But there is an answer. It is divine intervention. And from the looks of things going on around us today, the divine intervention that is required would be the second coming of Jesus Christ. That would be the only intervention that would be strong enough, powerful enough, true enough, hallelujah, fix what is broken in this world because it is broken it is sinful man and so we come with a simple message christ crucified the get saved message for that is the answer to the days in which we live there's no getting along and and those that, that's there are the saved and the unsaved and when Jesus does come, and he is, those are the two, the saved and the unsaved. And to know today that you are of the saved is the message we bring. It is Christ crucified, that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and are in need of a savior and that that savior is Jesus Christ and there is no other. And we are all sinners, lost and separated from God by that sin and that sin needs to be forgiven and it can only be forgiven by the one who has paid the price for it, who shed blood, death upon the cross, the penalty for the sin that now separates us from God and that is Jesus Christ yes Christ crucified he who died upon that cross was buried and raised the third day oh yes Jesus rose from the dead Jesus is alive a living Savior he died that we might be forgiven of our sin he rose that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And the abundance there is not necessarily in monies and dollars, material prosperity, but that we might have a right relationship with God, a closeness with our Lord, and walk in the spiritual blessings and truth. One amen. One amen. So it is a simple message. We are sinners separated from God and in need of forgiveness. And it's found in Jesus Christ and Christ alone. Today, as you look around you at the crazy world and know this, that all the isms and teachings that are out there are all of one source and it's not God. It's the devil. Yes, that's right, the devil. There is one. And all that he would lead you to is death and hell and destruction. Eternal damnation. There is one answer. One answer and it's Jesus Christ. To pay attention to all the rest will only lead you down a path of death. Dying in your sin. But thanks be to God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So today, acknowledge you know you're a sinner, and you're separated from God by that sin. Know this, that Jesus 
the perfect Lamb of God, born of a virgin birth, came, bled, and died for you. Believe that. That he took his, your sins upon himself and went to the cross and died and was raised to new life, to life that you might be raised to new life, a new life in Christ. Believe today, receive forgiveness of your sins and become a child of God. Ah, oh, for it is by grace through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. By grace, God's unmerited favor, receiving that which you do not deserve. You're not paying the price for the sin that separates you from the Father. Jesus did. It is a done, finished work. Jesus saves and he will save you. Though not of works, lest any man should boast. There is no boasting here. It's nothing you can do. You can't buy it. You can't earn it. You can't sell it. You can't steal it. It, it is the gift of God. It is a gift to you. Oh, hallelujah. The gift of eternal life in Jesus Christ. Today, believe and receive and become a child of God. And brothers and sisters, today, oh, unlike any day, is it? It's the day to be committed 100% to the truth of God's holy word, to what you know and believe and stand in, have faith in God, to do what God has promised you he will do. Believe today and know that God is true and that all that he has promised us is coming to pass right before our eyes, right now, today. So today, brothers and sisters, trust the Lord for he knows. And it won't be long that that divine intervention that will be the only kind of intervention that can change what's going on in this world is going to come. The glory is appearing of our great God and Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. To the glory of God, to the praise of God. Yes, indeed. For the good of those he loves. Indeed, praise the Lord. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, in Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen.